and I'm ready to bring the pain for you this week. I got a special Heart to Heart episode. Top 21 Spice One songs of all time. That is right. And I got Chrissy Ray with me because she has to put up with this all the time. And probably more than other people. And I got a special guest. And this is going to be some crazy shit. But I will first, I'm going to announce a disclaimer. Spice One's lyrics are brutal. If you do happen to go listen to these songs, do know that a parental advisory is issued at this point right now. Because Spice One is always like root beer. One of a kind. Ooh, yeah! How you doing? I'm good. What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your, is that your coming? Is that your coming? <laughs> what? What you got? That's what I got. But I can't. This isn't even we nothing need more, to do with we me. Need, yeah. Really? Really. Really? Really. And let's, let's introduce, let's introduce, let's go with TJ. What's up? What's up? How you doing? I'm doing good. You got, you got, you got to come back? Come in? No. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> No, you just knew. Let's uh, welcome our stepson to the podcast. My son. M- my yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> hey, you fucked that up. I said, well, I, from what? my point of view, he's you said let's welcome R. He's but my he's child. like his son. He's the only son I've ever known. <laughs> he's my child. So therefore, he is a clarify, son to me. He's my child. Clarify. Ooh, clarify. Yeah. Let's clarify. Calipify. Calipify. So. We are here to do the top 21 Spice One songs, right? So, how I first found Spice One was one day I was flipping around back on the day when, like, you know, you had the the box and you could make actual, like, you could call in, put your numbers in, and it would play the music. Well, Spice One would come up and it would be the, the video. And the first song I ever saw was Dump It in Moon Ditches. But it caught me with an old cool, cool beat. Did I play this song for you, Tyler? I don't know. Yeah? Yeah. You're gonna see? We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll see when we get a little clips. No, we don't ever get anywhere. We always get everywhere. <laughs> but look, man. We don't get anywhere. I've, I've had some people in my clique love him. I've had some people hate him. Right? But I'm gonna I'm gonna promote him. I've, I've followed him all these years. I mean, I understand his music is brutal, but it was about the stories he told within the music. So as we talk about that, and we go through this podcast, you're going to see why it's more than just how it was put together. It was about like the whole CD and just bumping in your car. Because remember, that's how I listened to this music back in the day. Hell yeah! So, all right. Well, you know... Another thing that got me too was a stutter rap. You know, when he would come in, he'd be like, I ro- ro- roll down the street. Apparently, people like, like pierogies. People like pierogies. P- p- pierogies. <laughs> I'm eating it like f- f- fogies because anyway, I'll be ahead, in o- o- oldies dancing to them toadies. But I'm I got sorry. the things because we I got the podcast. I'm sorry. You got to see me going to the top. Yep. Go, get it done, man. It's not as a weekend. Yep. Yeah. Nah, oh, man. We cool. We cool. It's a work day for you. Molly doesn't have school, so it doesn't really matter. To me. Hey, we're cool. We're cool. We got this all done out. But these so, two have to go to work tomorrow morning. What? I tomorrow. mean, okay. nobody knows what time this podcast is actually being recorded. It could go up live, but it could actually be recorded, pre-recorded. Well, it's 1024 Eastern Standard Time, my Waz. We're doing this podcast right now. What? So... That being said... Anyways, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Get it, yeah, get it done. Brother. So, let's let's get right to it. So, Spice One growing up, right? So, I heard that song, and I went to my buddy Duan. I was like, yo. I was, I was, the box came on, and this, this, this dude came on the radio, right? You know what I'm talking about? You, have fr- you, you went to a friend run time, Tyler, right? And you were like, hey, well, yeah, I heard this song. And he's like, oh, my dude pulled the tape out. He's like, yeah, I got the tape. He had the <laughs> single. I was like, what? What? Yeah. So, I was like, he was like, here, you could have it, right? 
So, okay, first of all, I don't want to kill anything that we got to get to it, but we got some music coming, right? So, I don't want to kill the thunder what Dumping Them in Ditches did, because that's in the countdown. We'll talk about that then. All right? Well, without further ado, Ooh, yeah. let's get to the top 21 Spice One songs. Now, again, disclaimers have been issued. The rhymes are brutal. They're crazy. We're going to play maybe a snippet or two, but all of this is because I represent Spice One. He's been my favorite rapper of all time, and he's rapped with all of my other favorite rappers. Like, how can you even, how can you even do that? So, let's get to it. You ready, Tyler? You ready, yeah. Chrissy? Ready? You ready to burn? Oh, yeah. I can't. I just can't with you. 180-60s. All right, let's go, man. It's going to take you an hour to do this. Number 21. You got it? Bring it up. It's Gas Chamber. Right? Gas Chamber. And first off, the hook. His flow. It's an old school beat. You ready to play it? Get a couple seconds of it right here. We got it. We got it coming. And let me tell you something. Why this is my 21 is because this is how you start off the 21. Because I couldn't do a top 20 list. I had to actually do it. So here you go. Hit it. And we have a little delay. All right. Well, that's that's good. Chitty that's chitty that. bang bang. I got the next. You know this is this is okay. So that whole thing, the way he had that old school beat, the way he brought it, that's why it's my number twenty one. It had to be there because it's like shoot a motherfucker down. Like what? Bring the pain. Yo, let's move along. All right, Chrissy Ray, hit me up. High powered. High powered. So. High Powered's an old school track. It's edgy. And he's like, ha, 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 ha. Yo. His. She's guilty. Right here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that? Well, you just said a few seconds. That's, that's, uh, you can put that back on. You could do it. I, I, I. Just let him go for about two seconds, right? Cut it. Yo, right from the go, Spice One brings the pain. He is just, he is just one of the best ever's, best ever's. Like. That whole dun dun dun, like I love the way it was so smooth. It was cool, and the whole song he just flows. He comes at you with freaking bars. That song is just great. But the next song, my number nineteen. Somebody got that on the play right here. This is Spice One and Noriega. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hit it. Yo, let's just go, man. When he comes in from his verse, Spice One that is, he raps so fast that he actually goes silent. Silent. Like he goes silent. He goes, I mean, and you gotta, the, that's what this thing is. This whole song, man. It's like he comes in, he's like, what, 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 what the fuck? Stick Uzi at this motherfucker in Borderline Thug. We live Grave Diggers from New York to Cali. Spice One! Hell yeah! No idea. Yes, you did. <laughs> yep, you did. Nope. Mm -hmm. There's no way. I bet you did. Nah. I put a bet on it. I, I, I win that bet. Mm -hmm. So. Anyway, that's what Spice One does. From the get-go, Spice One is the craziest. 
dude out there. And that's what I want to do. I want to deliver this as raw as it can be. Because how can you be raw when you're talking about Spice One? That's why he's number one. Moving on to the next one. You got the next one ready? Boss Mobster! Yo, listen to this right here. Yeah, hit it. Yo, so Boss Mobster, man, that shit going on. And when he's like, you fucking with a killer, though. And he was like, he was like, ever since I came out the womb of my mama, ready for some motherfucking drama. Like, what? <laughs> you got that? You got that? What you got? And then, and then, like, he, he goes, hoo ha, put your ass in check, right? So, I mean, Boss Monster, his flow, it's sick. The song is fast. It, you cannot get off of what you got to get going on. So, next song, the next song is what we got. We got what? We got, we got. All right, you ready? Number 17. Welcome to the ghetto. The story he tells day by day. Yes. Okay. Yo, and then you never see the black man father playing. Yo, that 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 freaking song. That is what most people know Spice One for is that song. But it's my number seventeen because it's so good. But I he came on to me with other songs on the CD that I had to go that. So. That being said, we're moving number. This is you. Number number. What? Yeah, he's here. Number sixteen. Number sixteen is. The fuck we gonna do now? The Mortar Show with MC Motherfucking A. Like this is B. So yes. Okay. <laughs> Yo, I'm not but a Mac 10 shooter, kill a man looter. Yes! You don't need that's the that's the timing of that song. Because Spice Motherfucking One is the best. Yo, the hook, the beat, the flow. Nothing but a Mac Yo. Yo. And the way MC8 delivered that song, the way Spice won, people need to know that song. You can't. People need to know that song. Who's got who's got who's got my number 15? Tyler. Who's got my number 15? All right. All right. Yo. Number 15. This one goes to my heart. Actually, actually. Actually. This goes out to my brother-in-law. Player pieces. One love. It's player pieces. This goes out to the songs. It's the first one in the slugs. Kids rolling with the Right here, right from the go. Mm -hmm. You know, this goes out to my thugs, rust and play in pieces, one love. You know, and the what you could do, his his rapping ensues, he goes so fast. It's one of his speed raps. It's one of his speed raps. And look, I could pick any bar from this songs. It's just freaking great. You know, and in me and <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing that. Me, <laughs> me and my brother-in-law would play this song. Hmm? A lot. I yeah. don't. I don't. No, really. hey, nobody's no, <laughs> nobody's saying. Okay, so there's there's a little debate on the next song, but <laughs> it's it is number fourteen. So player pieces gets the fifteen, and that's what you get. You're about to get it. So uh, let's hit that number number fourteen song. Just Suck a ass. The way he comes in, right? Look, yo. And he stutter raps, man. Look at that. Four years ago. The gun go glam. Yo. Spice One. That beat. That takes me back to like... night, And this song was 1996. Right? So, when I was looking at this song, right? It's just... It makes it like the whole beat makes you want to dance to Running Man. You, do you want to dance to Running Man? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Come on, hit me at it, man. Used to be in my back seat. I was driving <laughs> around. A little freaking baby seat. Listen to Spice Motherfucking One. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. And that's it. That song is badass. So suck a ass. Get it. Yo. But when you ever feeling good. Ready? This is Spice One's genius shit. Hit it. About candy, candy, candy. I feel good, good, good. About candy. So, Spice One really put this song out here, right? But he makes the whole song with Ood to the next song, Ode to the next song, about how he actually tells a story with candy being the people. And the name of the people, it's like, it, it, it's so freaking dope. He's like, I'm like bubble gum, you know. And he goes, he he, he, met, he met his cherry clan, and he he goes, he goes, I met a name girl, or her name was Score, and her family was poor. <laughs> Said her family was poor. <laughs> what? So uh, who's got who's got the number twelve? Who's got the number 12? I do. Right here. This is what did it all. Yo, Spice One's genius. Right here. Claymation at its best. Spice One at its best. Candy before candy. Number 12. 187 proof. And her name was Mary. So she get up the bodies. Yo! Yo! Spice One 187 Proof shows that you can take alcohol and you can create a story and you can put characters in Officer Martini. You know, he got, he, just like Score, family was poor. <laughs> I still can't get that out of my head. All right. Got him. Who's got my number 11? Number 11. Slow. Immortalize. Immortalize. Worldwide. Get this right here. It sounds like a movie. The whole song has this like, you're just in this whole zone, just listening to Spice again. Tell another story. It is literally the best thing ever. The best thing ever. And the way his flow just hits, it's so good. I mean, in the, the hood, the chanting, in the background, he gives props to Easy. And, and who's got, I mean, Immortalize. And again, Immortalize is like me and, me and Josh driving around in the Stratus listening to Spice Motherfucking One. Oh, yeah. So, all right, let's get to the top 10. Who got my, who got my 10? Huh? Ah. Ice tea. Too short. And bakes. Badass song. Just. Just. And bakes at the crack house. That's just the beat. Yo. So T rips it right off from the go, right? You know, and 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 and, and then Spice he comes in with the stutter rap, you know. And, and and in too short, he goes like, "Yo, he's like they call me too short, but I'm still bigger than you, bitch." Like, yo, seriously, this song, "Recognize Game," is one of the baddest fucking songs in like all of existence. Like, Ice T, Too Short, Spice One, they will jack you. They will f- make sure that your head goes into a gasm. Yo, and there's this part, Too Short. Yeah, I'm telling you. Go listen to Recognize Game. And when Spice One comes in, he owns it all. Like, you don't think that Too Short could outdo Spice? But then Spice fucking comes in. And he freaking does that shit. And he's like bubblegum ass. Like, what? Oh, yeah. So who's got the freaking nine? Who's got the nine? 
This goes to your studio gangsters. Number nine. I'm the fucking murderer. Right? Cut it. Cut it. Ring a ding a ling. And saw it off. In this game with the motherfucking saw it off. Don't wake up. Because I'll put the gauge to your nuts. Have you cough it up, pissing blood. Mark ass, don't get no love. Okay. Yo, okay, so he starts out rapping in this song. And then in the second verse, he stutter fucking raps. Spice one had me at the stutter, man. Had me at the stutter, right? And then, yo, right, there's this point in this freaking song. In this freaking song, he... Freaking goes from the stutter rap. He puts his freaking and he comes back in with just a real rap. And he's like, he's like, hoes pushing up daisies. Can't they be? Told you I was crazy, ho. But no. What a tat with the rat tat. Yo. Spice one. I'm the fucking murderer. Number eight. Two of my, my number one. And my number two rapper in the same song. Jealous got me strapped. Get fucked up over this player. Shit. They didn't give a fuck about me when I was shitting off the Bay Bridge. Hell yeah. Yo, the crazy lion. The, 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 the yelling in the background. Tupac in the background. And he comes in and he's like, a must bird pump to their chest shows that who's bigger. Like, holy shit. You ever hear that shit? A Mossberg pump to the chest. <laughs> that is the fucking baddest shit. And then in the third verse, Spice just goes nuts. He's just like, he comes right out the verse. He's like, I can put that. I'm a blast. I'm a blast. I'm a blast. I'm a blast. Like, just what? Ooh, yeah. what? Yo. So, yo. This is this is like so good right here. So good right here. Number seven. Who's got my seven? This is new spice one. This is new spice one. We got it right here. And this song got me. I heard this song and I was like, alright. I was like, alright, 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 alright. That isn't. So we got we got we got a little thing right here. He stutters. Number one. He's always number one. Spice one is motherfucking number one. Always like root beer, one of a kind. I might break a few rules, but I can't do it to the top of it because I can't stop it. He's the best in the game. People don't get it what they want it. But if I could ever rap, I would rap like him because I can't go on it. Right, this was cash flow, right? I'm going to the bad that you got it. Wait. And then he goes... I'm going to put it... <laughs> dude... And then he goes and he puts you on a history lesson about how they took a dude off him. How he made it rap, right? That song is badass. It's a new song. It shows why Spice One is still number one. Number six. Thug in me. Listen, Spice, you a punk. Because he know I whoop his motherfucking ass. Yo, thug at me, the piano's from the go. Doom, 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 doom. Yo, and then, I mean, he goes in the, he comes in and he goes, I jumped the Chevy and the heavy in the game. About five of the ghetto names. Like, yo, Spice One is sick as shit in this song. You get a beat, you get a crazy flow, you get all sorts of just crazy little things together in this song. It is crazy. He loves the thug in me. Don't play and hate me. That's what we do. That's what we got, right? But let's move on to the number five. Number five. Number five. Just like my Star Wars top ten rebuttal. That was Revenge of the Sith. Number five. Mm, this is my shit. Of Spice One this and MC8. Shit. Keep it gangsta. Revenge is a motherfucker. Right. I've been so motherfucker since 1988. Right, I gotta go for it. Suck it. Right, revenge is a motherfucker. They don't give a fuck. 
then why should I? If you should duck, that's it right there. You should duck. That's right. You should duck. You should duck. Revenge that's of a motherfucker. That, that, dude, that little fucking little dit, 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 in the background. So good. MC8. Like, dude, I'll play this, this whole song. CD, man. We don't, we, I'll play this whole yeah. song. That, that, but, that's my. Just, this is my number one. That's my favorite Spice One song. Revenge. Yeah. Done. That's it. Yeah, Revenge is badass. Like, this is. When you get to the top five, you're going to get to the most guiltiest motherfuckers in the world right here. Yo, these songs are just badass right here. Yo, so Revenge is a motherfucker, but what's my number four? What is my number four? Who's got my number four? Listen, D Boy's got love for me. E40, Spice One. Can't talk with a motherfucking gun in your mouth. Yo, you know, three count. Three count, right? And then right from the go. When this fucking gun goes off, and it's like, right here, the beat. Two? Two? Nineteen motherfucking matters. Come on, hit it. The swan saying full fever, leave a crime scene before he takes his last breather. Yo! His crazy ass shit, right? And this whole song, this whole song is just fucking nuts, right? So like, you get that, right? And then when E-40 comes in, he's like, Chef Boyardee, boy, boy, the soda, the bacon. And, and and the whole talking in the background, right? E-40 is goading Spice One the whole time. And then Spice One fucking... Spice One fucking comes in. He's like, 40 water, 40 water. And then they whistle. The whistle. The whistle at the end of this fucking song is just the sickest fucking whistle and I have to leave it out going into my number three, right? I, have three. I can't. Hey, dude, Spice One says, I chuck a dead body on your motherfucking lawn. <laughs> number three, born to die. Yeah, straight motherfucking dead. Do it. Strive up on the shoes of your motherfucking head. Get your motherfucking mob on. Number three, Born to Die. He actually talks to his gun in this song. Would you, I mean, can you imagine a whole song about talking to your gun in this song is it? What do you think about that? And this song was on the Tales from the Hood soundtrack. And at the end, it's got, it's got that fucking old dude going, oh, Motherfucking shit. <laughs> Yo, that's punk. the best. And, you know, it, the whole song is just evil. The beat's evil. It's got a fucking Halloween. <laughs> like, it's just badass. <laughs> this is what this is what I grew up to. I didn't grow up to no motherfuckers that couldn't rap. I, like I grew up song. to Spice Motherfucking One. I like the next song. Number two. I like the next song. Oh, number two. That's number my, two. That would be now, my number two, too. Oh. There's a radio edit and a parental advisory. It's called Strap on the Side. Strap on the Side. Right? Because oh, Spice One. <laughs> nope, but. <laughs> it's good, though, because Spice One's edited version and. Explicit version are completely different. They are different. We actually figured that out. Yeah. Well, we didn't figure it out, but. Book them down with the clip and the trigger. Screaming yeah, like, hey, yo, yeah, come on. <laughs> and, and, but in this one, he's like, rolling that G, you get the bu-. Like, when I was sick from school and I first saw a strap on the side, and I was like, I couldn't wait for everybody to get home and be like, Spice One has some new fucking music like it was insane and he's like he's like and just like he's like and John Madden 93 boom he's on his back he goes Spice One is a motherfucking trooper so say what up to the East Bay Frank Kruger yo Spice One Strap on the Side is a badass song it's always been one of his best songs I love that thing comes off one of the baddest CDs in the fucking world Yo, go get it. Go get America Kiss Nightmare. Right? Spice One, America Kiss Nightmare. Fucking amazing. But nothing. 
gets me on to who's got the number one. All right, here we go. Number one. From the beginning, it was this song. Fuck attack, so I start this much love. That beat. Right here, wait, wait. Hold on, gotta get that beat down. Shot you in the body. The party. Listen, here it comes. Right here. Sorry, Spice, I had to do it. Yeah. That, that, uh, uh, uh. When I heard that, and I saw that video looking all Al Capone ish, right? So, Spice won. On the radio edit where there's swear words, he stutters. And that's what I fell in love with was the stutter rap. It was just fucking. And at the end of the freaking uh, the, the explicit version, he goes, my chrome gat shines like a sword. One motherfucker sent off to the morgue. This is the coldest fucking rap I'd ever heard. I heard that shit. You got fat Nina. Like, what? And, that, and the wait, and at the very end of the song, it just lets that beat come out. Yo, that's what music means. Music should give you a headgasm. Spice One put me through stutters. Spice One used reggae. Spice One taught you how to roll a joint. Called it the Boss Elite Blood. Spice One freaking teamed up with everybody in this motherfucker world. And Spice One is like root beer. Like I said before, he's one of a kind. And he even rhyme that shit. He get he likes to get higher than giraffe pussy. Like he is a badass motherfucker, and he Did is you just say bi- higher than giraffe pussy. That's what he says. <laughs> he said he said Bill Clinton hit the joint, but he didn't inhale. <laughs> um, <laughs> spice one. I'm high. That is that is spice one. Spice one's a badass. So let's check out. Here's some albums to check out. Okay, check out everything. One, one eighty seventy wrote. Two, America's Nightmare, best rap album, app rap that yep. rap album ever. What? Three, Black Bossolini, number four, nineteen ninety six. Five, I said sick, not six. Five, Immortalize, and six, Yo man, just get them pioneers and keep it gangsta, and uh. You know what? Since we're at this, and we had a great time doing it, did you have a good time? Yeah. Was this crazy? Did you learn something about music? Let's talk yeah. a little bit. Chrissy Ray. What? Spice motherfucking one. I what do you mean? I told you my... The, it's your favorite person ever. Isn't it? It is. And we share the first name. <laughs> and the last name. Hit it up. Talk. I have to go in. It's all good, man. Hit hey. What we got? Like, my favorite, like I said, my favorite song is Revenge. That's my number one. And number two will be Strap on the Side. Strap on the Side, yeah. Yeah, Dumping Them in Ditches but, is a crazy-ass fucking I mean, song, man. that's crazy, too, but yeah. I'm going Revenge over Dumping Them in Ditches. Yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, see, it's all about exposure. I was a couple of years older than you, so, like, that's what I, I knew a little bit more. And, and I, I owe credit to my boy, DeWan. because guess what? I don't care about Dumping Them in Ditches. Mm-hmm. I just rather just... Psh- Done, son. Just punch him in the face. You don't You're want done. to him in a ditch. Done. You figure out your own way home. If you get home. <laughs> and that's, and, I ain't gonna and, dump you in a ditch. I'm gonna leave you right and, where the fuck I left you. <laughs> <laughs> Let that be fucking known. Dump it in the ditches. <laughs> See? So, yeah, just like, Spice One is so a, just is like a motherfucking can, trooper. So just like you can buy like a cockroach. I've seen this thing going around on Facebook. You can buy a cockroach and name it. And they'll feed it. You can name it after your ex, and they'll feed it to this like what? Oh, is it a meerkat or something in a zoo? Yeah. Yeah. What? I'm not paying oh my money. God. I'm not paying money to have someone breed a cockroach to be eaten. To be named in a in my ex's up. name. That's fucked up. Like, but I'm this is the part of the co- This is where we bring the pain. Well, you, I mean, yeah, keep going. About dumping in them. Yeah, like, so, like, so, I'm, so I'm, people... That's not even worth my time. Are I'm going to leave you right with the fuck where I leave you. Yeah, but and I'm, back and to I'm the not cockroaches. Spend money, back to the cockroaches. And I'm not going to spend money to fucking... So people are naming cockroaches after their exes so they can be eaten by a freaking It's some animal. sort of animal in the zoo. Yeah. Isn't that like... Yeah. But I mean, it's funny because it's that's raising like money buying, for the zoo, That's like I guess. buying a slaughtered calf. 
Oh, but, Knowing one day it's going to grow up and get slaughtered. But I'm not. I'm not going to waste money on that. That's why. Yeah, I don't know, man. People I'm try not, I'm to not make even money. thinking about you. People try so, to make money. Like they make money, man. I, I mean, I guess that's cool because I know it goes to good things. I know the zoo's doing a funny thing. I know it's funny, but I'm sorry, zoo. You're not getting my money. For I that. Mean, You'd be sorry to the cockroach, but who likes cockroaches anyway? Well, we I get that too, but I'm not going to pay for a cockroach to get eaten. What if the cockroach got away? Yeah, well, then that, <laughs> that, then that cockroach, then that cockroach, yeah, see? That's what X's are, cockroaches, are gross. Yeah, they got away and shit. There's a reason they're not your fucking well, fuck, man. person. You will step on them and... <laughs> but anyway. Anyways, yeah, this should be for another podcast. Burn! So, that being said, you know what we like to do? Things that make me a jerk! But this was a Spice One podcast. It was. I'm going to keep it cool, right? So, Spice One's my favorite rapper, but he might not be other people's favorite rapper. I only mention, promote Spice One, talk about Spice One because of what he's done. There's been a lot of friends that I've had that have not liked Spice One and had to put up with me playing Spice One. I was a jerk. Hell yeah! And there's a lot of my other friends, like my brother, my brother-in-law, my, my dude Brian, that loves Spice One, that actually went and bought Spice One songs, well, and, or CDs, and, and freaking we would have discussions about the CDs. That was cool. So, I am being a jerk because it sucks that people don't recognize him as being one of the best. And his beats, his lyrics were edgy, and that's what he knows to do because he brought the pain. Like, he was ahead of his game. He was collabing with MC8, Tupac, E-40, Sibo, everybody. Back in the day, man. Ice-T, Too Short. You know, he went with everybody. What do you got to say, man? Like, this man deserves I, more. I get it. It's just not all that kind of my music. But like nah, I said, Revenge right. is my number one favorite song. And That's Strap on do. the Side is my number two. Yeah. You know what? That's what we do. But Revenge is my favorite song. And I love it. So, that being said, Tyler, where you at? Say bye. Bye. <laughs> he said bye. Chrissy Wright, give me a bye. Peace out. We got to always Revenge remember. Revenge is a motherfucker. Ooh. Yeah!